Hey all, welcome to Share Trick. This is Raj here. Friends, uh, today, thanks to our subscriber, Mohammed Guns from Turkey, who sent me this article about HIV dormant pools and their activity while uh, under ART suppression. It makes interesting read and though uh, more research is required as per the paper itself, I do draw some very positive conclusions based on how I understand the study. You can look at my address bar uh, to see the address of the website as I get warnings from YouTube, uh, if I put a hyperlink in the description, I still do not completely understand their hyperlink policy. Once I do, I would be able to put the appropriate hyperlinks in my description. But for now, when I talk about the study, I will uh, show you the website itself. So with that said, uh, I think uh, let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. Good day everyone. Today I want to talk to you about something important, HIV, a virus that affects the immune system and how the treatments we have for it work. I'll explain this in a very uh, easy to understand uh, manner, uh, even if you're not a scientist. So that's the objective of our channel, uh, to take uh, uh, scientific uh, documents and then try to uh, simplify it for the lay person uh, as it pertains to HIV and various other diseases. Uh, so first let us talk about HIV. It's a virus that can weaken the immune system, making it harder for the body to fight off infections. But we have something called antiretroviral therapy or ART for short, which is like the medicine that helps control the virus. Since HIV is a retrovirus, we need to have antiretroviral therapy to control it. And that's where the term ART comes from, antiretroviral therapy, ART. Now, here's the tricky part. Even when people with HIV take their medicine and the virus seems under control, there are some um, hiding spots in the body where the virus can stay. We call these hiding spots reservoirs, and I've spoken about them in my previous videos as well. So those who are regulars in this channel need no introduction about uh, the hidden uh, reservoirs. But uh, those who are new can look up older videos of mine to understand the concept. Imagine these reservoirs as hidden bunkers where the virus can hide out. This is why we say that HIV is a tricky virus because it doesn't completely go away even with treatment. For a long time, scientists thought these, res uh, these reservoirs were quiet and not doing anything. But there is some ex uh, exciting new research that tells us otherwise. Uh, here is a, a source article on the screen, as you can see here. Uh, I read through the article and what I'm about to explain comes from there. Two groups of uh, researchers recently found something surprising. They discovered that in some people with HIV, even while they are on uh, treatment, these hidden reservoirs can suddenly wake up and start making parts of the HIV virus. It's like these bunkers in our uh, analogy suddenly opening up and producing something. Now you might wonder, why is this a big deal? Well, it's important because um, this activity can affect how our immune system responds to HIV. You see, our immune system is like our body's uh, defense system. It fights off viruses and infections. But when these hidden reservoirs start uh, making parts of HIV virus again, it can confuse our immune system. Our immune system uh, thinks there's an attack happening, so it tries to fight the virus. But Here's the catch. The parts of the virus these reservoirs make are mostly like broken pieces. Uh, they can't make a whole virus, but they can still cause some uh, trouble. This might lead to inflammation in the body. Um, I think uh, um, I would describe the inflammation as a sort of uh, alarm. Uh, that can sometimes cause health uh, problems like heart disease or uh, bone issues. Now, one more thing uh, this research also showed is that different types of immune cells can carry the these hidden HIV reservoirs. It's not just one specific type. They are found in various types of immune cells, uh, there being uh, these kind of activities. Lastly, researchers found differences between people. They studied. Even though all had HIV, uh, some had more active reservoirs than others. This means that there is still a lot we need to learn about how HIV behaves in different people. So why is all this important? Well, uh, it helps us understand why HIV is so hard to completely get rid of 
and why treatment is so important. Uh, it also gives us clues about how to improve HIV treatments in the future. In conclusion, this research is like shining a light into the hidden uh, bunkers where uh, HIV hides. It shows us uh, that even when one is on treatment, one needs to keep a close eye on the virus and keep working on uh, better ways to fight it. HIV is a complex uh, puzzle, but with research like this, uh, we are getting closer to solving it and making life better for people living with HIV. Now, I would like to distill in my own words uh, the part of uh, this entire research. Um, of course, uh, it's not what is mentioned in the research, but this is my conclusion based on what I have read and what I have understood from previous studies that I did to make other videos, uh, whether it is for EBT or AGT or any other uh, therapy. So what I'm thinking is that when the uh, HIV virus is intact, uh, those dorm uh, dormant uh, cells um, stay dormant while under ART. They don't do anything at all. But where uh, the immune cells have got defective blueprints of HIV virus uh, in the dormant pools, uh, they behave differently. They do not understand that ART is um, uh, in uh, operation, so they have to stay dormant. Instead, they continue producing defective um, protein and defective RNA, incomplete HIV uh, viral particles, and release it into the body as a result of which the immune system continues fighting them. And uh, this kind of uh, overheats the immune system and also causes unwanted side effects, uh, which, uh, which we may call as uh, side effects of uh, being under ART. And if uh, those side effects can be controlled, uh, and if we can uh, prevent these uh, defective uh, blueprint virus sitting in those uh, hidden pools uh, somehow from uh, uh, replicating uh, fragments of HIV and uh, HIV proteins, uh, then we can give a little rest to the immune system and uh, prevent it from getting confused. Uh, and it's also go going to lead to better quality of life for people under ART. Now, this study needs uh, to be continued further because they want to account for what is the difference between individuals. Because some individuals have very heavy activity of this kind and some have very light activity. So, if they are able to, uh, if the scientists are able to find the difference between these two categories of people, what is the difference? The, what is the difference between them? Why one has got less dormant uh, activity and other has got higher dormant activity? Then that can help stop the dormant activity altogether. So there is a lot of promise in this research. There is more research that needs to be done. I know, guys, you might be saying, Raj, we have been waiting for four decades and we still don't have a solution. Well, I would point out to ART, which is a solution. I would also point out to the fact that we have once in two months ART, and now we are looking at once in six months ART. So that's the kind of improvement. And of course, you are going to say that there are side effects, and exactly that's what this research is aiming at, to reduce the side effects. So that's my conclusion, uh, friends. And uh, thank you for listening. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to uh, use the comment section. However, before I finish, I request you that if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and help us touch 5,000 subscribers. If you have other friends who are suffering from HIV, please introduce them to our channel so that they can get valuable information. They have a trove of maybe hundreds of videos that they can look at which have already made in the past and build up their understanding and therefore have a better quality of life. Also, as a subscriber, if you like what you are seeing here, uh, please support us by pressing the join button and becoming a member of the channel. With that said, I would like to say bye for now and I'll catch up with you in the next video. See you later.